Good morning friends. Welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in selection MCQ series on YouTube for ABM. And today's topic is Central Tendency. What is this Central Tendency? Central Tendency topic is your second topic in your ABM. Okay? And very important topic. Means it shows you the mean, mode, median, everything. Standard deviation, that is all studied in Central Tendency topic. Okay? So follow the video till the end. Now let's start. Without wasting the time, let's start the topic. Okay. Mean. Mean or average is the most commonly used single descriptive measure of central tendency. Now what do you mean by this? Average we all know since our childhood we have been taught to find the average. Suppose if I ask you uh, four, three numbers. One, then seven, then what? Let me call this nine. Okay. If I ask you the average of these numbers, what will you do? You will do a simple trick, 3 plus 7 plus 9, the whole upon 3. So that is average, isn't it? So either it's called as mean or it's called as average, okay? So actually mean is not that simple. Mean is of three types. This mean which you are finding is simple arithmetic mean. Let me write it. This is simple arithmetic mean, okay? Now you have geometric mean also, you have harmonic mean also, there are separate types of means, okay? So remember mean, arithmetic mean is the simplest mean to find out, see this written over here, arithmetic mean, simplest mean to find out, geometric mean is, is a bit difficult and harmonic mean most difficult, so there are three levels, level 1, we have those level 1 in all, in all those games right now, on all those play 11 team 11 all these there are level games so this is also level game so this is level 2 and this is level 3 okay remember this harmonic mean is a difficult most difficult mean to find out okay yeah actually it is a reverse of arithmetic mean that's why it's difficult it's the totally reverse of arithmetic mean okay Mean is simple to calculate, easy to understand and interpret. Mean is of three types. Okay, So mean is simple to calculate. Simple means what? I am saying here harmonic is difficult and here I am saying it's simple to calculate. So it's not that. It's not that simple to calculate. Means very simple to calculate. Okay, Compared to others, it is simple to calculate. Okay, That's the meaning of this. Got it everyone? So now tell me. I'll ask you a few questions over here. Okay. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. What is the mean of this? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. Mean of this. Type fast in the comment section. 1357. Mean, 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 mean. Fast. So what have you to do? Plus, plus, plus divided by 4. So answer is what? It will be the central part. So it is 4. Right? Similarly, the mean for this above one, what was this? 19 upon 3, right? So 6 point, 6 point what? 1 remaining, right? So 6.11, roughly, yeah, 6.11, isn't it? So that's how we find out this arithmetic mean. Mean or average is the most commonly used single descriptive measure for central tendency. Mean is simple to use, so this is we have done just now. Arithmetic mean of ungrouped or raw data. Now the mean is always of two types. Okay, always remember this. Mean is of two types. Let it be geometric mean. Let it be arithmetic mean. Let it be harmonic mean. One is ungrouped data, ungrouped. Okay, and second is grouped data, grouped. Okay, what is the grouped data and what is ungrouped data? Grouped means this one. Uh, sorry, ungrouped means this, 1, 2, 3, this is all ungrouped. What is grouped? 5 to 10, 10 to 15. See here, we are forming groups over here. So that is known as grouped data. In group data, you also have frequency. That is also attached in uh, group data. Okay. So this is a sign. How do you define whether any data is grouped or ungrouped? Main point is if you have frequency attached to it, it means it's a group data. Now you'll ask me if frequency is attached to the group data, what is the frequency for ungrouped data? So remember, whenever you have an ungrouped data, the frequency is always equal to 1. 
always frequency is 1 for any ungrouped data. Got it? So, how to find out the arithmetic mean of ungrouped data over here? Ungrouped. Okay. Now, we are finding for ungrouped. Then, we will be finding for grouped. Okay. So, it is very simple. So, x bar equals to summation of xi upon n. Where xi means what? x1, x2, x3, xn. Up to n observations. Now, you will say, sir, this is so difficult to understand. But remember, it is not difficult. What is this summation xi? Summation xi is here. Whenever you write summation, what does it mean? Summation means, summation if I write xi, what does it mean? And I am writing i equals to 1 to whatever n I will write. So, it means what? I am just replacing this i with 1, 2, 3, 4. So, summation means x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus go on and on up to whatever number I want xn okay and this number say this 1 2 3 4 it goes on increasing so that is the meaning of this summation okay so summation xi means what x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus okay got it now for n observations now what did we do earlier then we did the same thing xi what did we do suppose if I call this as x1 this is x1, this is x2, this is x3, this is x4. So, what am I doing? I am just finding x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4, the whole upon n. Same thing over here. x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4, the whole upon n. So, that is why always remember things are simple. We do not understand them. And we try to learn them. Never learn this. Okay, try to understand this. So, got it everyone? So, arithmetic mean of ungrouped data is summation xi upon n. Okay. Now, before going ahead, download ADDA 24-7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests, everything. Whatever is needed for clearing CIB and JIB, you will get it over here. So, definitely download it immediately. Okay. Because you are getting many discounts over here. Use the code Y432. I will tell you more about this. Okay. Arithmetic mean of ungrouped or raw data. Means let us see this example. Consider the marks of 10 students in the mathematics in certain exam. 35 blah 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 blah. All these. If the arithmetic mean is 30, find the value of X. See this. There is something X over here. I do not know the number X and I have to find this number. How do I find this? I know the arithmetic mean is 30. So, how do I solve this? So, look at this. Suppose if I tell you average of 1, 2 and 3. How will you do the average? 1 plus 2 plus 3 the whole upon 3. That is the way I will do the average. Right? So, suppose instead of 2 I give you 1 then x and 3 and then I give you upon 3 and then I give you that the average is 2. If I give you this and now I tell you to find the value of x. Okay. So, average means what? See this average or mean. Huh? Mean you can write it mean also. Mean equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 upon 3. But if I give you the mean, see here, here I am finding the mean. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 upon 3. So, I will get this as what? 2. Now, what will I do? I know all these things. So, what will I do? I will replace this 2 with x. So, now what, what is the answer? I know this 2 mean as 2, right? And I, I have to find x. How do I find this? What will I do? I will multiply this 3 on this side. So, I, what do I get? 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus x equals to 3 to the 6 on this side. Then I will take 4 on the other side. So, x equals to what? 6 minus 4. So, that is equal to 2. See, I got this 2. Got it everyone? Everyone understood this. How did I find a mean? Now let us find out for this or big numbers here. Why did I give you the simple example? So that you can understand how to find out mean and how to find out x. Now I can use the same example for the larger scale of numbers. So let me write it 35 35+30 18 15 40 30 plus 52 are you doing it everyone plus x plus 47 plus 10 okay so let me remove this side now 
let me remove this okay this you have got it now yeah up till now i'll keep it over here only because remaining solution is easy for you so now this 10 the whole upon how many numbers are there 10 students right it's given above the 10 students the whole upon 10 here what are we doing we are writing the similar equation over here but i know the arithmetic mean is 30 so i know the answer is 30 over here 30 now i have to find out x this is my question mark right so what will i do first add all these all these numbers you need to add okay add them what are you getting everyone add them what is the answer you are getting guys yeah uh, shall we do it shall uh, me doing it okay let me do it you are many of you are asking do it live okay let's do it live okay let's bring the calci but after all exam is yours man uh, have i to give the exam i have cleared already all the jib and cib okay so do it yourself practice it yourself let me try let me also try 35 plus 30 plus what 52 no what 18 18 plus what 15 plus 40 plus 30 plus 52 plus everyone yeah what is the next 52 plus 47 keep this x as it is 47 plus 10 so 277 i am getting it so 277 i'll write it over here 277 plus x the whole upon 10 equals to 30 so what will i do now I will multiply this 10 over here. So 277 plus x equals to 300. So x equals to what? x equals to, oh, I, ain't you able to see this? One second, let me see. Okay, you are not able to see this, uh, which is going besides me, behind me, okay? So let me write it over here. 277 plus x upon 10, okay? Let me remove this because you are not able to see this okay this part let me remove it got it here yeah. so solve this and you'll get it as x says what 300 minus 277 right so 23 so x equals to 23 this is my answer isn't it and that's what i want this is the answer required so if you know the meaning of arithmetic mean the problem is easier okay got it move on before going ahead, subscribe to Officers at that 24-7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates on JIB and CIB number one, number two. Free YouTube series. Right now, what are you seeing? You are seeing the free YouTube series. So, you will get the uh, free YouTube series on this channel only. Okay. All the topics. Not only this. All the topics for JIB and CIB. Now, next one. Find the arithmetic mean of the group data. This is a separate problem earlier arithmetic mean was as ungrouped data now it is grouped data so what is the frequency i told you see here in ungrouped data we have frequency equals to one but here we have the frequency okay so find the arithmetic mean okay what we'll do is we'll uh, break this problem let's break this to only these let's remove these things okay let's move only up to four because that's understanding the logic is important it's not important to solve all these big numbers right let's solve it up to four only okay so find the arithmetic mean okay what is this uh, f over here what we'll do is we'll write it over here x x over here right then we'll write fx also uh, f over here frequency okay then we'll write this then we'll write fx multiplication okay and then we'll find out oh, 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 oh again you are not able to see this x then i'll write over here f frequency then I'll write over here fx, right? fx. Okay, now let me solve it. What is x? 1, 2, 3, and 4. What is f? f is 5, 6, 5, and 10. What is fx? Multiply this. 5 and the 5. 6 to the 12th. 5 3 the 15. And 10 for the 40 right so fx i have got it so how do i find this frequency this uh, arithmetic mean now so arithmetic mean equals to summation fx 
द होल अपॉन एन वट इज एन बट एन इज ऑलवेज द टोटल ऑफ दिस एफ एफ ओके इट्स नॉट द टोटल ऑफ एक्स इज द टोटल ऑफ एफ सो टेन प्लस फाइव फिफ्टीन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो एन इक्वल्स टू शेल आई राइट दिस फाइव प्लस सिक्स प्लस फाइव प्लस टेन सो इट इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स एन इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो अपॉन एन सो फाइंड द आंसर वॉट वॉज वट इज द एडिशन ऑफ एफ एक्स सी दिस सो एडिशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज फोर्टी प्लस फिफ्टीन दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव फिफ्टी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी सेवन सेवेंटी टू राइट सो सेवेंटी टू इज माई समीशन एफ एक्स द होल अपॉन एन एन इज वॉट ट्वेंटी सिक्स सो डू द डिविजन नाउ सेवेंटी टू अपॉन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वट आर गेटिंग अगेन यू ट्राई टू योर सेल्फ एवरी वन टाइप द टाइप इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सेवेंटी टू अपॉन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वट आर गेटिंग वट आर गेटिंग एवरी वन सेवेंटी टू अपॉन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वट आर गेटिंग एवरी वन आई नीड टू सी द आंसर्स ओके लेट मी रिमूव दिस बाय द टाइम इरेजर लेट रिमूव दिस बिकॉज यू कैंट सी दिस ना बिहाइंड मी ओके आई एम इन बिटवीन या सो समेशन एफ एक्स अपॉन एन सो समेशन एफ एक्स एवरी वन इज गॉट दिस सेवेंटी टू समेशन एफ एक्स द टोटल हैव यू गॉट दिस सेवेंटी टू ओवर यर एवरी वन और नो इफ नॉट काइंडली राइट नो देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ओवर यर देन डू दिस डिविजन देन सेवेंटी टू अपॉन ट्वेंटी सिक्स इट इज वॉट टू पॉइंट समथिंग राइट टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स राइट टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स सो दिस इज द एवरेज एरेथमेटिक मीन सच अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम इन एग्जाम You get it for one mark and know the importance of one one mark. Collecting one one mark is important in exam. Okay, so that was it about arithmetic mean of group data and ungrouped data. Let me revise it again for everyone. Grouped and ungrouped data. What do you mean by this? Okay, you need to have a proper revision of this. Okay, so what is grouped and ungrouped data? Group means you where you group it. Ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to th thirty-five. All these things. and second part is you get a frequency over here in group data whereas in ungrouped data the frequency is equal to 1 this is ungrouped data this one right this is all ungrouped what is the frequency in this what is the frequency of 35 over here can anyone tell me what is the frequency of 35 over here what did i say when the data is ungrou ungrouped the frequency is equal to what everyone frequency is equal to when the data is ungrouped Type fast in the comment section. When the data is ungrouped, the frequency equals to. Hmm. Right. It is one. Always remember this by heart. Okay. When the data is ungrouped data, I'll write it over here. Where is it? Ungrouped. See this. Okay. When the data is ungrouped data, the frequency is always equal to one. Okay. I am not able to say this. One sec. Let me. show you this graph also because many of you let me bring it over here now okay yeah so remember when the data is ungrouped the frequency of the data frequency equals to 1 frequency equals to 1 always remember for ungrouped data got it everyone move on okay now let me show you the batches see this the batches you should always join the batches and in fact you should join the maha pack i'll show you each one one by one okay let's go to adda 247 so let's go to adda 247 if you are having the app go on the app i would suggest in the app you are getting 1% extra using the coin system okay coin system is a huge benefit to you see here go to adda 247 click on jib and cib okay click on cib 23 now you'll see the batches see this batch selection batch just now started okay just now means only 3 4 days you get the recorded sessions also click on this batch okay you'll get this the details of the batch all the details means what are the dates timings etc study plan go through it also importantly look at the fees part in fact remember recorded videos are available so if you miss out any class you can definitely get back to it two interactive classes so it uh, the point over here is you can ask the doubts there and then itself in the class 5279 fees click on more offers put the code y432 click on apply so 80% off 4799 reduces to uh, redu means uh, this fees of 23999 reduces to 4799 
such a huge discount you are getting validity 6 months you can go for mahapack i would suggest in mahapack what happens you get double validity now what is the mahapack mahapack means 15 plus batches per subject let me show you this also click on the front page go to the front page click on jib and cib click on jib cib mahapack okay now you will see this cib ka mahapack click on the cib ka mahapack here you will see the details means what are the batches here 15 plus batches for ABM, BFM, ABFM, BRPL all the four subjects numericals are covered various case study batches are covered ebooks are covered tests are covered everything you are getting it okay so this mahapack is one of the best thing for, things for you now you will see sir everything is okay what about the fees now look at the validity also 6 plus 6 months 12 months validity you are getting not a joke okay now see here 500 plus hours then uh, exam uh, focused revision batches everything you are getting okay let me go to the fees part 7699 see here earlier the fees was 34999 now 78% off 7699 but I'll give you 2% extra in fact 3% extra in the app okay on the site you are getting 2% extra put the code Y432 Y432 click on apply Look at this, 34999 reduces to 699.80 and validity is 12 months. So I would always suggest everyone should go and join the batches immediately because exams are just 2 months from here. Right? Exams 2 months, portion is new, first exam for the new portion. You will be needing a mentor, a guide. Okay? Chalo, bye everyone, keep studying and use the code Y432.